Hello guys and welcome back to another Elden Ring video. In this guide I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to kill off Radagon of the Golden Order and the Elden Beast in Elden Ring. Now, after the patch there is no real cheese anymore for the second part of this fight, but I'm gonna show you the easiest way anyway. So, right as we go into this fight we're gonna pop Flask of Wondrous Physics and we're using Cerulean Hidden Tear which eliminates all FP cost for the first 10 seconds of the fight. So that's really really great and valuable. I'm using 4 of the FP flasks and 8 of the HP flasks just in case I need some backup, you know, you know. So as soon as we go into the fight we just skip the cutscene and then we just run straight towards him. Nothing else and then we stop just beside him. And after we have done that we are gonna use our Flask of Wondrous Physics and then we're gonna be spamming uh, this one attack called Comet Azur. Look now guys, look at this damage and it's gonna take no FP at all. As soon as that's done we are gonna be popping our Black Knight Tish and that's also gonna cost no FP because we are quick about it. So now we have killed off the first part of the last boss in the game without taking any damage or using any FP at all. That's a real cheese on how to kill Radagon of the Golden Order. Now for the second phase it is a little bit tricky because as I said there is no real cheese but this is by far the easiest way so you just try to always stay behind him. And look at the Black Knife Tish bloodlust build up here. It's insane. Already 3000, 4300 damage taken on this boss which is insane and I have almost not hit the boss at all. So there is a few attacks actually to look out for here. Nothing too complicated. Now he goes up in the air and it's gonna summon one ring that you just need to jump over and just run straight out of that round and you're not gonna get hit at all. And the Black Knife Tish has almost lost no damage also. So the trick here in this fight, it looks scary and hard but you just usually want to run sideways. Maybe roll, you know, sometimes and such. And when it does a sword swing, like obviously, you gotta roll like this now. Like that. It's not harder than that. And you have been fighting a lot of bosses up to this point. Otherwise, you would not watch this video. So he's gonna do a couple of basic attacks. Nothing that Margaret the Fell Omen isn't doing, actually. So I'm losing a little bit of health here. But it's, like, inevitable to lose a little bit. But as you can see here, I'm constantly trying to get behind him because there is where his weak spot is and I'm only using basic attack. I'm not using any special attacks, nothing. Only basic attack and mostly I'm trying to get my Black Knife Tish to actually tank the boss for me. And, and, and as you can see here, I'm doing some hits on the stomach because I thought that maybe I don't have time. This one is the worst one because I, have st I still haven't figured out how to actually dodge all that damage. And also, he did two attacks in a row that, that is kind of killable, so that was bad RNG for my, uh, for me. So this boss likes to run away a lot, and then he goes, like, usually goes up in the air and try to swing at you, and that's basically it, and it comes back down. Here I'm doing some hits on the stomach, because I know that he's gonna do an attack like that, fast. And this is nothing more to it, really. You just try to get behind him, whenever he runs away, get back to him. Uh, and here comes this one again, you just simply run, nothing else. Usually you can actually avoid all that damage, just that attack. And this poison cloud, just run to the left, nothing more. And that's basically, look now on the bloodlust buildup from the Black Knight Tish, look. Um, my Black Knight Tish is actually going to kill off uh, almost all the HP that is left on the boss. Look there guys, just run over these rings, I'm not taking any damage. See here guys, I'm not taking any damage. Not at all. And my Black Naftish is almost like at full health almost still. It's incredibly powerful. Now, once again, just run left out of the poison cloud. Some dodging over his sword like in every other boss you know in the game that you have been fighting so far. It's not even fast, like you can see it from a mile away. Once again, behind him. I'm missing some attacks here, which was kind of noobish on me, you know, but sometimes you miss attacks. Now, we are in the end of the fight. Look here now, the blood loss build up is killing it. And I get to do the final hit actually anyway, so that's <laughs> that feels good. And there we go, uh, there we go. Now you have also killed the Elden Beast, if you just did what I did. Pop the subscribe button, leave a like, follow me on Twitch. Thank you for watching and stay safe in the lands between. Tarnished.